Wow. It, that place must be important because it's everywhere. The logo is everywhere. Oh no. Emma Sloan was a believer in a great many things, most of which were entirely fallacious. She's dead. That didn't take long. Emma Sloan, an innocent victim of his dark half. More collateral damage in the ongoing war. Damned by forces beyond Damn, control, girl can scream. As much as by her own actions. That Damn. thing has no aim! Stand still so I can kill you. attack as much in buildings. Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh, dude. Not that door. Nope. Okay, there's a lot of doors here, but we'll find one eventually. I'm going to the lit up room. Well, it might not be a light up, it might just be my flashlight. <sighs> Can one key work to fit any of these doors, please? Ow. Found it. Guess there's nothing interesting in this one. To the next room! Okay, there's nothing in there. They didn't even bother m rendering a room. Which I can understand. <sighs> Ooh, what's this? Can I look at it? No? Okay. That doesn't even register as a door. Which is great. It's refilled already. I love that. I think with this one they had a little more money to spend on everything. Including writing. Because the writing is a little better on the manuscript. Anything of importance? That's where it was. My own face peered back at me from the TV screen. For a moment, I struggled with the sensation of deja vu. How many times have I seen myself like this now? And then there was that easy grin that never seemed quite as quick or natural on my own lips. The dark, malicious twinkle in the eyes. And I knew who I it was. It was Mr. Shh! Pulled back and revealed the room behind him. My throat went dry. That's hilarious. There was nothing I could do but watch. Sucks. But I don't... No TV. Must be an old motel. Well, there's a place for the TV. It looks like a TV would go there. But it's just like, nah, we don't have a TV. Okay. <sighs> Kinda wish they had a few more rooms that you could go into. Or at least tell you which keys you have. Well, you do have the map. Yeah, but I, you know what I mean. Damn. Up. 
That's where I was. I knew he was there. Michael Farabee. Dead. Dead. Tortured. Dressed in clothes that bore the name of a local observatory. A slim lead, but solid enough. It stirs something deep in his mind. He knows where to go now. Nice. Also, okay, the, uh, things about the observatory everywhere weren't- wasn't a big enough hint. The observatory. Hot on the heels of the herald of darkness. darkness the champion of light forges on. To, to see, see the stars. stars. Was that it of that one? I think I missed a manuscript page. Oh well, I don't care. You'll replay this. I'll replay it later. Arizona! The Mount Red Tooth Observatory. Observatory. A place, a place for man to witness, witness the magnificence of the universe. Of the universe. But, but such insights are not the champion of light is looking for. Wow. He, has he has come, come to, find to find a, a weapon. weapon. Dun dun dun! I drove a car to get here. Cause I my name know. is Roger McBadass. He is more of a badass in this game. Well, in the last one he was more, cause he's like, I'm dying! Oh, don't, 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 don't. Oh well. Unlock. Unlock. Please tell me there's a box here too. Please? There's a pump action shotgun. And they let me keep my weapons. Flare gun ammo. Flare gun ammo. I know. I just. <sighs> hey, look, you can actually look at stuff and get it. Welcome back, listeners. As you know, I'm Andy Rodman, and I'm still talking to old gods of Asgard, who are doing their big comeback tour. How's that been going for you? Odin? Splendid! I'm having the time of my life! You know, I didn't realize how much I missed that. And what about you? Ah, it's okay, you know. <laughs> well, this must bring back a lot of memories. Oh, yeah! It's wonderful to be back on stage! If it wasn't for my knee... <laughs> It's like five. I hate to keep harping on this age thing, but I gotta tell you, I have a great new song, guys, and you sound really good. Thank you. And, uh, this may be a touchy subject, but to be blunt, you really don't sound, uh, well, old. <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, the difference between your, your speaking voice and your singing voice, it's pretty striking. What the hell are you talking <laughs> about? You saying it's not us singing on that record? No, no. What you talking about? No, 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 I'm not saying that, guys, but I, I can't help noticing the difference. Johnny, you're a thin eye. You calling me a liar? Hey, let me just step in here for a moment, boys. It wasn't it in Alan Wake Barry was talking about <laughs> picking up old gods of Asgard anyway. I I don't know. I think so. I think he talked about it, which is why I'm not too surprised at it. And my eyes twitching. Twitching from too much awesome. <sighs> What time did you say you were gonna leave? I was probably gonna leave around six. Okay, so gotta get our asses moving. <gasps> they have a box. How do I get to it? <laughs> <laughs> Found it. Why that's so nice? They left it tumbleweed. They left it open for me. I totally Yay! didn't need to do that, but I did it anyway because I could. <gasps> Did that just make a door sound? Yeah. Fail! God dang it. They used a wood door. <laughs> oh, that's a Hey, a manuscript page. Yay. Oh yeah, I, sk I missed some before. Oh, and it was in that genre that I finished my first novel, starring the perpetually miserable Alex Casey, <laughs> whose entire life was a wound that never healed. 
The books sold as fast as they hit the shelves. I wrote five more Alex Casey books, and they all were bestsellers. I became rich. I became famous. Success brought pressure, and I didn't handle it very well. And we gotta enter the main observatory. Really? From the sewers? And the rooftop. From the sky. 